So tell us um, the form of cancer you were diagnosed with, Madam. Um, the cancer I've got is called adrenal gland carcinoma, which is a very rare cancer, mm -hmm. one in a million people. Mm -hmm. um, very aggressive. Mm. Um, so yeah, and the doctors have given me a terminal diagnosis, okay. which is very, <laughs> quite <laughs> very upsetting for us all. And how, how how have you and the, the family taken taken that awful news? Okay, I guess to a certain thing. Mm. Um, it's the kids that I'm more concerned about. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's affected the whole family and my friends, mm. everyone. So it's not just it's not just me affected mm. by it. It's, it's everyone else around me, all my loved ones. Mm -hmm. And by this stage, you've tried everything, and we're at the point now where you're trying the cannabis oil. Yep. Um, tell us how that came about. Um, it came about by a friend of a friend. Um, um, I got to know about it um, on the internet also. I was just Googling and I came across the cannabis oil. Um, so I decided to look more into it and and it just came from there. So I thought, well, I've got to give this a shot. Mm -hmm. um, if it's the only thing that I've got left to give, well, mm. I've got to give it a shot. So Definitely, definitely. And yeah. you noticed instant relief? I noticed instant relief from mm. the nausea, from the chemo. Mm -hmm. um, it was just instant within an hour, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it relaxes me, it stops the nausea, it stops the vomiting, it mm. helps me sleep. Mm. It's to me it's not a drug, it's a medicine. Mm. And mm. yeah, it's just an amazing, amazing herb. And that's what it is. It's just it's a herb. Mm. Yeah. Are, are you annoyed with the stigma of how people could perceive um, why you're taking this drug? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm annoyed by people probably, you know, they're gonna probably judge me by taking this. Mm. Um, the oil, but mm. if this is the thing that's going to help me um, to either stabilise my cancer or to mm. even get rid of it even better, mm. you know, so people can judge me, you mm. know, all their life because mm -hmm. this is helping me a lot mm. already. Mm. So, mm. and like I said, the cancers, the cancer in my lungs, the it is now, has shrunk half in size, mm. um, and I don't think my oncologist was expecting that at all. Mm. So, you know, it could be a combination of the chemo and the cannabis put together, yeah. um, helping, yeah. can patch them with each other, mm. um, who knows, so. What would you have to say to other, um, other cancer sufferers out there in regards to this, this drug? You give it a go, mm. so please just give it a go, don't, mm. don't give up hope, there's, mm. because there's always hope, there's always mm. something out there that's, that can help someone, I mean, it's, it's helped me and it's mm. helped a thousand, a thousand of other people, so mm -hmm. just please give it a go. It is illegal. What would you have to say to state government, things like that? It is illegal, I know that, which, which is very scary, mm. but um, it's helping so many people, like I said. Um, mm. why, why not legalise it if it's helping people survive mm. um, and get through their chemo treatments? Mm -hmm. Well. I just don't, I really don't see the harm in it. If people are using it for um, medical use, mm. um, my doctor fully supports it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I just, I, just, I just want to get it legalised as much as everyone else does.